Hello and good morning to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. Welcome if you're joining us here on YouTube and welcome to those who are joining on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. We'll give people just a little more time to join us and use this time to calm ourselves, quieten our minds, our hearts, our bodies and our spirits as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. We say together, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our Maker, Jesus, our Mediator, Holy Spirit, our Comforter. Now we turn to the Psalms, and today we're re we've reached Psalm 103. Praise the Lord, O my soul, O my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion? Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbour his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone. And its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works, everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Amen. Now 
Let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever amen amen now we continue reading the gospel of matthew and we're at chapter 27 reading from verse 62 the next day the one after preparation day the chief priests and the pharisees went to pilate sir they said we remember that while he was still alive that deceiver said after three days i will rise again so give the order for the tomb to be made secure until the third day otherwise his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate said. Go, make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting a guard. Amen. We continue together. Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers, which we make in his name. We now have a time of, of silence where we can pray for the things that are on your heart and the things that God lays upon your heart. We pray in silence.
we continue together. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands. All people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O oh God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask, and do not allow us to be slow in answering your call, to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who at the last through wooden nails purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we who come rough-hewn to your bench may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask for this, your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us today, folks, and we hope to see you soon. Have a lovely rest of the day and please stay safe. Bye for now.